All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching That Time I Got Reincarnated as Slime, Season 2, Episode 4. I do not have anything saved for to start the episode, but as always, like the video if you like the video, and always subscribe to the channel if you're new, because we are trying to reach 500 subscribers, and then we are on our way to our goal of 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully, hit 500 subscribers by the end of February. But yeah, anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get into the episode right now. All of you passed. All of you passed, hey! <laughs> oh no. And you can always come and travel to Tempest whenever you want. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Parasite. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, they've actually brought her along to Tempest, nice. Tempest is looking so good. I wonder what Milan will uh, think of Ramuru. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> They've got the little slimes on top of the building. <laughs> everything's working, everything's flowing nicely. It's it's nice to see this town just being successful and whatnot. She's not like a, a spy or anything like that, is she? I'd hope not. But even if she is, she'll probably figure out that this place is like a nice place to live. Eventually. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I figured. I figured so, yeah. He probably already knows that, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what a Magian is. Should I know? <laughs> oh, you guys got your ass beat. <laughs> Even the new dude. <laughs> yeah. They used to get beat up. They'll be strong when they're older, though. <laughs> oh, this is going to be an easy win, then. <laughs> easy new on the ling, I guess. Dead. <laughs> In the ground. <laughs> <I'll> just... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Fair enough, he's loyal to who he's loyal to, and he's making that plainly obvious. <laughs> was it? It felt like it was about five seconds long. <laughs> Welcome to the nation of dumbasses. They're all strong, but they're dumbasses. <laughs> Real life practice again. What have they been getting on, up until now? <laughs> you are already dead. <laughs> I love the slow motion. <laughs> yeah, you guys tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, Rimuru would still take on the challenge, probably. <laughs> Just wait till you're a bit older. <laughs> Alright, that's a bit, that's going a bit too fast. <laughs> they might like that. <laughs> oh, she's fitting in nicely already. It's so cool how, how we can remake the manga volumes from um, memory. <laughs> Some plentiful business deals going on here. Mm, okay, yeah, interesting uh, political agreement side of it, I suppose. I'd hope, I'd, I'd assume that they would fight by Tempest's side, yeah? Yeah, it, it, it likely is, so they've got to watch out, I suppose. Oh yeah, it was that kingdom, wasn't it? Mm. Is this Falmouth? I would like to see you try. 17,000. Yeah, probably not enough. <laughs> I think Rimuru could take them on by himself. Um, okay. That's shady as hell. That's very shady. God. Not every king in uh, in this story can be as good as Tempest and um, the other dude of the Dwarven Nation as well, can they? Gotta be some shady kings around here as well. Oh, they're sending overwelders. Hmm. What is this hidden art then, huh? Shady king business, shady church business. Are these the overwelders? I wonder if these guys will be won over to Tempest's side, and then we can have some more overworlders around. Damn. I wonder what these guys received then, after coming to this world. Berserker. Ooh. These these three need a reality check. And uh, I think Rimuru's the exact person to give that to them. This guy's thinking long game. We need to show these guys what Rimuru can create. He can make manga and stuff, bro. Bet they'd love that. Damn. Are we going to get an, a, a war in the upcoming future? That'll be interesting. Oh, hello. Haven't seen you in a while. Which side are you going to be on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, so that was Slime, ep Season 2, Episode 4. Um, really interesting episode for what might, might uh, be coming in the future now. Um, it was interesting to see Millim at the end there, and potentially what, like, like the expression she had on her face, to see you know, that she might in the future may or may not be on Rimuru's side. Um, so I'll have to see about that um, and see the up 
potential upcoming war is very cool to think. We obviously have this uh, enemy nation of uh, Falmouth, um, which has got like a shady leadership and a shady church leadership as well. Um, so we'll see how they interact in this upcoming war, potentially with uh, Tempest, and see how Tempest fares against them. And we also have these three overworlders, which we assume are from the same world as uh, Rimuru, because they were talking about smartphones and internet and stuff like that. Um, so it'll be, yeah, it'll be interesting for them to meet Rimuru as well and see the power he's capable of and see what he could bring to them. Maybe they, like, have will have some kind of connection because Rimuru is from the same world. I don't know, um, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's going to go, and that's all I really have to say about this episode. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.